welcome back to Madame Cross New Horizons. I'm Nia Darling. As you see, shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today? Of course, it wouldn't be a day, darling. I've said if I didn't completely, well, not completely mess up. Let's not be that harsh. If I didn't mess up the introduction, as I have a little stretch, I need to record some rail battle after this, which is, um, you know, it's like 10 p.m. So, you know, uh, I left it kind of late today. I wasn't really, I wasn't really feeling like recording yet, which is a shame because I don't have a backlog. So, you know, <laughs> uh, oh, well. Anyway, what are we going to talk about today? I don't really know. Nothing. I don't really have a topic in mind, which is why I normally go to Ash Games to see if there's a, a game I can talk about. Oh, you know what? I do have a topic in mind. Anyway, good evening, everyone. All right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 10 18 pm on Thursday, January 18, 2024. Um, so recently, um, I, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, whichever episode is called like Limited something something or other <laughs> um i talked about neopets and the fact that they were re-releasing an unconverted pet which basically meant they were uh, neopets is like an online simulated pet site is probably how i describe it and um what they're basically doing is allowing you to get old versions of pets once again which were previously considered limited but now not anymore because now they're accessible to everyone provided i, I think you had to pay money i assume i'm not sure anyway i, I talked about that in the previous episode or maybe it was two days ago actually <laughs> three days ago i don't know sometime this week now um apparently we had a live stream like i didn't even know neopets had live streams but you know i'm still subscribed to neopets subreddit so i'm still sort of following along and um, they had a live stream where they basically announced what all the pets would look like in their unconverted forms which i was like oh i didn't know you would have to do that i thought they would just look the same as they did before but i think it makes sense to like update them so that or like at least e even if the stylings are different they're at least in line with modern aesthetic choices on neopets and i looked at them and i was like okay it's, it's like basically the same pet except for they have like thicker line art or something but apparently a subset of a community of a neopets community is going absolutely insane they're like threatening to quit or maybe are quitting the game but, but basically it's a huge fire um I've, i'm sure most people are just like uh somewhere on the scale of oh, i don't really like it as much or to the scale of like oh i like it more um because and as most of these sort of things go it's always a vocal minority well not always a vocal minority but a lot sometimes it can be a vocal minority which flares up about a point and you know sets the entire thing on fire when most people are just sort of like that oh, doesn't really matter to me um i don't think it's really my place to say as much because i'm not really like that much of a hardcore neopets enthusiast anymore or i don't really even like play it anymore i just sort of am aware of it i will say i think a majority of them do look better with like thicker liner uh, at least to me it looks more consistent is probably what i'd say um i do agree that the fairy ixie doesn't look like amazing or anything and i think it's probably because uh, I, I think it lost a little bit of detail and like, it, it's a thing which i noticed in between the old, the old pets and the newer pets is they're, they're much darker shadows than the older pets which i think helps give like a sense of contrast to them um yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, obviously, there's room for improvement. Um, that, that is certainty. But I don't think it's bad or anything. I think, as I say, I think the majority of them look better. Like, hold on, let, let me open up the Neopets subreddit again. Um, and to be fair, I must reiterate, it's a small subset of the Neopets community. It's like, as I understand it, the, basically the, the pet trading, part of a pet trading community or whatever, you know, the ones who have this sort of black market of artificially inflated prices by a subjective determination of how much a pet's true value is worth. Which, you know, you you might be on both sides of coin you might be like oh that seems fair it's like a commodity i suppose in a game and in, in, in a game which is centered around these pet customizations in the first place it wouldn't be surprising that there's attached value um for different stages of things which are seen as inherently more desirable in this customization game and the other on the other side of the spectrum you might be like it's sort of like subverting the entire point of near pets you know the same way about you know it might sub you know pokemon can or like animal crossing can be sub subverted to the same expectations is that it's meant to be about like creating your own pet and like forming a bond with them rather than seeing them as like commodities with like a fiduciary value rather than you know they're not a currency to be exchanged they are meant to be something which you bond and you know enjoy you know taking care of in that sense hence pet <laughs> um either way maybe it's a bit of a moot point because they're all fictional like pngs anyway <laughs> or maybe jpegs i don't really know like i mean i'm looking at the picture of them i, I will say I'm surprised that they didn't do more coloured line art for them, that sort of thing. But like the fairy, I would say the fairy Kyrie looks way better 
now <laughs> than did in both present and past. The line art is so thin. Like, and at least from my sort of like design perspective, again, I'm not a professional designer or anything like that, but a lot of the ones with really thin line art are not great because the, the contrast between them, it makes them very hard to like read visually. Like the silhouette themselves are already difficult and not necessarily clear, I think, because, you know, fairy wings kind of block out the silhouette by putting like a extended background behind them or some a shape which doesn't necessarily make that much sense. Um, so if you took the silhouette of a fairy Kiri and a fairy Ixi, I think it's quite unreadable. Uh, the thing which makes them actually, you know, kind of stand out, at least with the Kiri, is the fact um, it's got like very dark purple wings and then its body itself is quite light coloured. So, you know, its body, I guess, stands out from the wings, but then its facial expressions are all naught but lost, I'd say within it because it's all it's a pink yellow uh, a pale yellow on a pale pink on a pale purple <laughs> it's it's all lost um it's uh, you only get some sort of semblance of shape with the shadows and at least with line up with figure line up it can be, of course be colored to give a sort of boundary to it and yes now the shapes are much more defined but very ixy i would say i think the line up if anything the, the color is a bit too dark um and I think it lost some of the detail, like it's, it, it's you know, this, this very X is taken off the makeup essentially. Um, uh, sorry, not right now, Vivian. <laughs> we're, we're not like in a rush or anything. Ah, oh, I didn't do Celeste's recipe yesterday, did I? Talk to people, DIY, okay. These are all very doable things. Um, yeah, I, I think the, the line art should be like a little bit brighter in my opinion but but one i will say it does give a nice better separation of the shapes but i, I will say i do kind of like prefer the old one i think that's because the the colored liner is more in line with the rest of the piece and also um the eyes are perhaps done a little bit better Ma mainly because like the, the thicker like eyeline part and the eyelash part make it look um make it look better and think than the very plain eyes of very Ixie has currently but i certainly think the present one is probably the worst it's so unreadable <laughs> it's if it, the line art is too thin it's like I, I look at this like unless i'm very close to them like the shapes aren't clearly defined to me but you know that's subjective necessarily maybe not necessarily subjective but i think that can be subjective I understand if that's what you like, but I understand also from Neopets' perspective as why they changed it as well. And on the whole, I think most of them look pretty good, so, you know, I also don't play this game, so I don't really, I guess I don't care all that much, but, um, I'm not saying thicker line art is always preferable to thinner line art, but, you know, it's a thing where, because of the choices they made when they initially designed it, I suppose, in the infancy of Neopets, means that the colour palette they chose, of course, colour palettes for fairy pet pets, uh, sorry, pet pets, fairy pets, I guess pet pets as well, need to be all very sort of pastel, very like bright coloured in that sort of sense. But the thing is, if everything is pastel coloured, there's not like much room to give contrast to things, which you know, you kind of, you want a contrast to values in your art. I mean, this is me just sort of going on about like artistic design now, which again, take what I say with a pinch of salt, it's things I've learned for myself and things I've learned from other sources. But again, I'm not professional, so it's not been employed much of a professional capacity. Um, Colour choice is important, and one of the most important things it contributes to is helping define, I suppose, the shapes of what's going on, you know, in, in, intrinsically, I suppose, intuitively, you group things together of similar sort of um, colour, but also you group things together on similar sort of like scale of brightness or darkness, you know, that's why you kind of want lots of, not lots of different values, but you want contrasting values, you don't want everything to be muddied into the same value when you draw something, you don't want everything to be a super bright colour or everything to be a super dark colour, unless that's explicitly what you're going for, because otherwise, you know, shapes get lost, but even if you have something which is meant to be like all dark and gloomy, moody, noir themed, you, I mean, you can still get like bright colours in there to give a sharp contrast, I mean like noir pictures itself, you know, you, what do you think of, like dark, broody, that sort of thing, you know, using like solid black or something, but often they have like sharp highlights of white as well to give us all very angular, big contrast look to it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's at least my perspective on it. And I think it will probably, the, the problem will be exasperated because when you customize these pets, you can also put backgrounds behind them. I'm pretty sure the pet would just get absolutely washed out and lost if it didn't have a thick enough line art to actually stand out from the background itself. Um, so I guess all in all, I don't really mind it. it. It's sort of like they have to do some sort of correction to it. Like they can't just leave it as is. Well, maybe they could leave it as is. That's maybe subjective up to, um, up to your own personal decisions. But um, it's sort of like they made their bed like 15 years ago with the, the colour choices they used with this very exciting, I suppose. 
now they have to basically do the best they can to rectify it. It's the thing when you go updating old things is how much of the old thing can you change before it loses the essence of what it is, ship of thesis style. Um, because especially in this, you know, we're going back to business talk in special, especially because Neopets as is of itself is a product which you want people to buy into. And um, what's important is that people are happy with the product, unsurprisingly. And if people, you know, play this game and you you like are going to be like oh well, we're updating all the pets to make them look you know more in line with like modern aesthetics and that sort of thing a lot a portion of the people are going to be upset about it they're going to be like i preferred what the old style looks like and that's you know fair it's justified in the sense that opinions are subjective in the sense of they might legitimately just be uh, might prefer it over styling of the designs they also might not actually technically prefer it art style wise if you like wiped away all context of the before and the after and you showed it to them they might actually prefer the after but that doesn't really matter because they've formed a connection i suppose to the look of the before and sometimes you you, you gotta sort of weigh it up to yourself like what is worth changing in that sense is it you know the, the people who would always prefer the before there's nothing you can do about it nothing is going to sway their mind necessarily um but the people who actually technically prefer the after but more attached emotionally to it before that's like a more of a tenuous thing like is it worth upsetting that balance in that sense i, I don't know you, you just kind of have to make a decision and i think a problem is even further exaggerated or maybe not even exaggerated is further amplified with neopets being of course a very customizable social site in the first place it's very much aesthetics as a priority of the game in of itself no or at least i should say it's a major component of it <laughs> anyway um so I follow the, the Neopets subreddit and most people there are just being like, I don't get what people are talking about, it looks good, which is, you know, uh, uh, you probably notice it if you ever, like, use Reddit, you'll, you'll just, like, look at something, you'll be like, oh, that's interesting, or you'll be like, oh, I don't quite, like, fully agree or align with whatever X, Y, Z this is, but then um, you'll scroll down to the first comment and the first comment will be like, I don't get why everyone's saying X, Y, Z, like, like, I don't get why everyone's saying this thing is so bad. It looks totally like good to me, or like I like it, something like that. And you're like, I don't even know where the people who are saying it's bad is in the first place. Uh, and what's the answer to that? I suppose is you've got to be like maybe earlier to the threads. You've got to scroll down further. And I'm gonna be honest, I ain't doing that. <laughs> so I sort of just scroll down and be like, all right. I guess this is a bit more of a contentious decision than I would have thought. <laughs> It's too easy, I think, to, to look at a or too dangerously easy to look at comments or something or see other people's opinions of it and have it sway your own. At the same time, um, being completely unswayable, I think, is um, also probably a sign of a, a lack of self-reflection on your end. It's totally okay to see someone else's opinion and then reconsider your own opinions under that new light or perspective, which, you know, gave you a new way to look at something or new thoughts about something. But it's also totally okay to see something and you know, stay with your previous opinion and not letting it um, shape or influence your own decisions, I suppose, in that sense. As everything, it's a delicate balance to get correct, I think. <laughs> anyway, so I guess I'm unconverted fairy ixy controversy. I don't know what other sort of streamer is live stream. I wonder what my next super elite status symbol will be now that you see pets, you sees are worthless. What's going on? I mean, I said it in a previous episode, or whenever I last spoke about it, I think uh, the next premium thing, which will be like what everything is based off of, will be the naming of pets. How good a pet's name is. And then I said, they're probably going to, you know, try and destroy that as well. You know, it's just going to take more work because that's a lot of data like remapping to do. Um, where they're probably just going to be like, okay, you know, everyone can name their pets now. And even better if people can have the same instead of just like wiping it and then like wiping all old pets and then like people being able to rename their pets into something new even better if people are allowed to you know have the same pet name <laughs> in my opinion i think usernames should probably still be distinct just by nature of that's how usernames generally work on sites as a unique identifier but pets i don't think need to be in my opinion <laughs> but of course that's probably a, a big restructuring of a site <laughs> but we'll see if that happens i mean you know Stranger things have happened, no stranger will there be if you came at midnight out of a tree from Hunger Games. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know, thicker line art. And honestly, I feel like Neopets got such a cartoony style to begin with. It's not surprising that they use thicker line art as part, not, not part of the aesthetic, as part of the, the style choice and design that they got going on. It just feels 
kind of like natural to it. Um, maybe I'm a bit biased because I quite I don't I don't know if I use that figure line art to be perfectly honest. I mean, uh, all all YouTube thumbnails tend to be sort of scaled depending on what the actual um, art style is of the aesthetic I'm copying. That's probably one of the most confusing ways I could probably set that. But basically, the, if a video game itself has thick or thin line art, then I use thick or thin line art respectively. <laughs> um, I don't know where I was going with this. Sorry about that little bit of a pause. Um, but yeah, I don't know, figure line art. It, it's crazy how just figure line art can... Well, okay, I mean... <laughs> I, I, I gotta, um, I suppose, be consistent, I suppose, of the way I frame things, you know, the way I talk about things, because it, I think it's very easy for me to say here, it's funny how thick a line I can set the entire community on fire, which is, I think, kind of misrepresentative. Like, even if I don't agree with the people who don't like, who are setting, I suppose, things ablaze, um, I feel like my, my point kind of becomes invalidated if I straw man their argument. If the argument is that they don't like it because it, like, looks subjectively worst of them and in some cases maybe you know i would agree with that the opinion um but i don't think it's a cut and dry case you know and for one it's not the entire community and i don't even know if i'm necessarily spe um, setting it alight again all the images i've seen are probably like cherry picked to be like the most inflammatory ones because those are the ones which probably get the most engagement it, it still sort of boggles my mind, I think, that the thing which gets the most engagement, well, not boggles my mind, but I think, you know, I suppose eye-opening, um, since that CGP Grey video, is that the thing, the emotion, like, if you see something on, like, a social media site, and it evokes a certain emotion in you, what emotion will make you most likely to share it and spread it further, or talk about it more, or engage with it? And apparently the answer is anger, which is crazy. And all of them, actually, nearly every emotion has a positive, uh, like, effect on your engagement, except for things which make you sad. Which I guess kind of, like, feels in keeping with things. I, I would have thought something which makes you happy or excited would be the thing which drives higher engagement. Or apparently anger is, which is why you get so many things which are, you know, rage bait, right? <laughs> it's wild. Anyway, so there's probably some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy in there, but not that I'm going to dissect it any further. Um, you yourself should probably get very much look forward to um, the eventual r slash hobby drama post which will come out at some point which will uh, discuss the exact details far better than I ever could about um, the drama surrounding these unconverted pets <laughs> near pets. It is kind of wild I suppose <laughs> but I wouldn't I could totally see myself getting also caught up in the drama. I mean, you, you've seen the stuff I randomly talk about, you know, like Genshin Impact with D's release, you know, recently shiny colours with the visual Twi'Kalei Amana. <laughs> I mean, not, I suppose that's not represent, misrepresent myself. I'm not like setting the, com um, the company, uh, the, the community a blazer or anything. I, I, although I do sort of like talk about it in that sense. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to rent, um, rent, what? I'm going to end this episode off here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.